What is going on YouTube? You will not believe where I am at. I am in Sedan, Kansas at the Whitetail Inn. We, we are here. We made it. Got off work today. Got out of there about 8.30. We made it to our room, Bubba and I, and uh, got the kayaks on board. We are planning to go on a journey tomorrow morning. We're gonna load the kayaks into the water in Hula Lake, go for a little trip. I got the big tuna here, ready to go. And uh, we're gonna get in here and come check out our room. So this is our room. Welcome to our humble mode here. It is nothing but a special two twin beds. <laughs> and check out this. We got us this one sink here. We don't even got a his or hers. But we do got, I don't even know where the light's at. Over here. Oh, it's on the inside. Oh, it is in here. Yeah, so we got our commode and shower. We're only here for the night, though. We got the OU football game tomorrow. It's a big one. Determines whether or not we make the Big 12 championship or not. Bubba lives way down south, and uh, he's got to go down and go home. He's gotta go do some deer hunting at home too, so. We're gonna hit the hay, and we'll see y'all bright and early in the morning. You ready to do this? Oh yeah. All right, it's bright and early in the morning. We're up, we're at them, we're heading out. So, we'll see you guys in a little bit. We're gonna hit the, hit the water, do some kayaking in. It's gonna be dark. I'll video what I can by headlamp. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Let's get in there. Well, sitting here, the sun just come up. I can just now see real good. I was sitting right here in this tree. And uh, I couldn't see this bottom. really wanted to see this bottom. I couldn't see it from there. So I had to I had to move out. Clear me a new spot here just outside my little blind. I've still got my umbrella set up in there. It started raining when I first got here. It's been a heck of a little journey so far. We uh decided to make this trip kind of last minute and uh, I let my wife go um, Black Friday shopping at Walmart so we didn't even leave my hometown until 830 and then come to find out my dad has the kayak he has it in the woodwork so we had to drive all the way to the lake cabin and pick another one up, which was like 30 minutes out of the way. So it wasn't too bad, but I see a squirrel. It's the first sign of movement we've seen. Now Bubba, he's already seen a buck. Me, we're still waiting. But we kayaked a mile in here, and uh, it's pretty fun. I'll get some footage going out now that the sun's up. We're gonna hunt till about one o'clock. Hopefully we kill one by nine. I'd like to get back. My wife's wanting to go rifle hunting, and so I'd like to get back and take her. But we're gonna sit back here, and I'm, I carried my kayak chair in. So, I'm just kicked back here, relaxing. I think the temperature's like 50, 45, somewhere in there. But we got here last night at like 11.30. And uh, woke up at 4.30. Didn't sleep that great. 
being in a strange place in a hotel and uh, the lighting outside was shining in the window. I tried to block the window as good as I could, but couldn't get anything to stay up. So I'm hoping I don't fall asleep in this little kayak chair because I am pretty comfy right now. But yeah, let's sit back here. We'll see what we got going on. See if we can't smoke us a, a giant. I've never hunted this area before. I've always wanted to. Uh, my buddy with T. McD's guide service, he's the one that took us paddle fishing. I'll link that paddle fishing video like, right here. Go check it out. Um, if you guys are ever interested in going uh, on a guided paddle fishing trip, he is the man. He can also take you to catch sand bass and pretty much anything you want. But we're going to sit here and overlook this bottom. We're going to hope we see something. Never been in this area before. Yeah, it'll be a little, it'll be an interesting little trip. We got a kayak out of here. So, I brought my drone. Tried to take some drone footage. But it's really windy, so we'll see how well that goes. But we're hunting really close to Kansas. And their rifle season starts this weekend. Kansas grows some giants. So, let's get one. As soon as I seen it, because I was going to shoot it, but by the time I got the camera on it, it was gone. Like I don't even know if it was a pig. <laughs> it was just real thick over there in that area. That's how my hunts go, though, especially on public land. Well, we took a chance to come up here and hunt this public land near the Kansas line. Bubba seen four. I've seen zero. Tommy saw two. I seen a hog, a squirrel, a few squirrels, and some pretty birds. That's about it. No luck on this trip. I should have stayed home and hunted at the house, but this was something I've been wanting to do for a really long time. And uh, this is a good spot. I mean, this is a real good spot. And I feel really confident that if enough time was spent sitting here that you would see a really big deer. just didn't happen today. Um, I'm about to get packed up here. I'm going to meet Bubba and we are going to head back to the truck. We got about a 
a mile kayak back to the bank to where the truck's at. I'm getting hungry. I think he's getting hungry. And he's got to drive like six hours to get back home. Five hours. He lives three hours south of where I live. And we drove two hours north to get up here, so. I'm gonna pack things up. I'm gonna try to get some drone footage with the, us kayaking. But, it's really windy. You probably can't tell, because I'm using this. I doubt you can hear the wind, but it's there. The wind is there. I really thought I'd see something. That's what I get for thinking, huh? Well, this was all about the experience. If I killed a deer or seen a deer, that was great. But it was all about coming up here and just giving it a try. I'll be back. I'll come up here and do some scouting. I wanted to come up and see what this place was, what it was like. I wish I'd have brought my rattling horns. But I'm gonna get packed up here. I'm gonna get back to the kayak. I'm gonna wear my chest mount. So I'm definitely gonna get some footage while I'm actually on the kayak. I'll get it on my cell phone. But I'm gonna try to do the drone, get some drone footage. But the only way I'm gonna fly it is if I can get GPS coordinates. Let's get back up here, we'll see ya.